So, it is my first night at Mill Hayes Lodge and Lake. I brought the family down here on a bit of a, a four day Easter holiday break and we got here in the dark. We didn't leave home till sort of four o'clock. It's a bit of a journey. It was a good three and a half hours, something like that from home. Uh, and we're now here. Kids are full of excitement. Faye's just putting them to bed, but of course, first things I've got to do is get the rods out. I know absolutely nothing about the lake other than some really nice carp in here. So I'm going to get the rods ready, get them out there, pub chucking tonight really. Um, I am listening out but I haven't heard anything as yet. Yeah, it's late. It's sort of uh, half past ten. So I'm pretty shattered after a long drive. I've been up to crew today for, for Scott Lloyd's Think Food Open Day as well. So I've been driving like for like seven eight hours of the day maybe more than that but i've got to get the rods out so a bit of a pub chuck solid bags um if i can flute one out my first night brilliant if not then i'm going to scope it all out tomorrow and uh, hatch a bit of a plan but the lodge is beautiful right enough talking i'm gonna get some rigs done get the rods out i keep seeing fish showing down there you see them rings they are the remnants of a show right down. Oh, there's one. Whoa. Yeah, they're active this morning. <sighs> Got the chance soon, surely. Good morning and welcome to Mill Hayes Lodge and Lake. I'm here on a bit of a family adventure. We have come down here all the way from Milton Keynes. We are now in Colompton, which is North Devon, isn't it? I think. <laughs> but we are here with the family. I've got Barley, Huxley, Faye and Willow. And we are staying in this beautiful lodge behind us, which is absolutely stunning. And we have, of course, got a lake right outside there's a hot tub and all sorts in there but i'll show you all of that later on we got down here really really late last night what do you think Daddy, what's in there jamie oh oh it's just a cupboard i thought it was a bedroom show us that room we haven't looked in there yet willow show us in there then oh what's it like oh it's a bedroom should we put a light on huh is it? Oh. What do you think, Willow? Hot dog. Huh? Hot dog. Hot dog? Bathroom. Two bathrooms. Two bathrooms? Yeah. Wow. Look, that's a bathroom. And lovely. What do you think? What do you think of it out here, Hux? Happy with this? Bit of fishing? Yeah. And a bit of hot tubbing? Yeah, I love it. Good. That is very nice, isn't it? Ah, oh, wood, but a big TV. We're not going to have that on, though, are we? We don't want to watch TV. We want to catch big fish. <laughs> I was getting the rods out about half two in the morning, something like that. Hadn't seen the lake or anything like that. So I was, um, I was pub chucking, really. Uh, but since getting up this morning, I have seen a few fish. So I am going to rearrange the rods shortly. It's a beautiful lake. It's only small. Must be couple of acres three acres in size the fish that I've seen look like a really good stamp they look the definite 20 pounders maybe more big fish um, and there are some lovely ones in here so I'm really excited we're here to Wednesday it's not gonna be all about the fishing we're gonna be going to the beach we're gonna be going to digger land all that sort of stuff as well having nice roasts in the local pub that sort of thing so it's not gonna be all about that but I'm hopefully gonna be able to show you what is gonna be an enjoyable family trip mixed with some big carp, hopefully. It's the first morning. 
the rods are down there. Now the beauty of this place is the lodge is right near, so you can have your rods out and sleep in the lodge, which is always nice, isn't it? There are no snags or anything like that, so <clears throat> you're not being uh, you're not being problematic by doing that. But I'm just going for a little wander. It's a beautiful morning. Fish keep showing down in this corner, so. I do think that I need to get a rod down here. There's some sort of loads of activity on the surface out there. Lots of bubblers, that sort of stuff. Um, and I have seen a few show around this sort of area. So I do think I'm gonna have to adjust the rods and get one on these bubblers. No, at least just eating grass. Just down there. Right, Hutch, you've got the net. Willow, you ready to go? Yeah. Catch some fishes? Yeah. Come on then. Cut the net. Actually, what net? What net? Which net? Um, you choose one. it. Which one? Or the one at the top? The black one because it's Okay, you get it then. That's it, pull it out. Pull it, pull it. How do you do it? Do you want this one? How come you what do you want how come you want this one? Because it has it has a deep in it. Is that? Oh you're thinking you're gonna get something really big then? Right, okay. That's why I got a deep. Right. Okay. You haven't got a net. Oh I know why. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Yeah, I think you're better for a small one actually. Because it'd be easier to use. I think you'd be better with this one. You'd have to scoop it easier. Scoop it up. You carry that. Uh, and a mat, actually. For your catches, keep them nice and safe. Yeah? Got everything then? Come on then, let's go catch some fish. Be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, good boy. Is that a strong one, Hux? Oh, do you have a tension? No, it's right. Quick, 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 quick. Yay! Yay! It's a big one. It's a big one. Watch out. High five. Biggest one yet. Biggest one yet, Willow. Then we have to put it on this mat, Hux, do how cool is it here? Cool. Like that. There you go. Left the unhooking. Okay. With a Z. Come then. You gonna have a look, will I? Yeah. Watch that hook, James. <laughs> Are you gonna take a look, will I? You stroke it. Daddy, that. Here you go, Hux. You gonna come down and hold it? Put it down James, where's that hook? You come down here. You want to come and hold it? Go and sit on Daddy's lap. Oh, he's a wiggly one. Oh, Slimy. <laughs> Will I do you want to go round? Oh, because he's a flapper. He's yeah, a flappy one. Yeah. Uh, look. What fish is that again? Tench. Tench. Good angling, actually. Will I say cheese? Huxley, what fish is this? Yeah. Cruise and carp. Well Yay. done. Well, are you going to give it a kiss? Okay, just a bit. Don't be gentle with its fin. Well, are you going to give it a kiss? Going to give it a kiss. Ah, uh, <laughs> put it back then. Should yeah. put it in the net. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Then you put it back. 
Right, so tactics wise for this trip, now I've had a good wander, it's Huxley zooming around behind me, um, and we've caught some little fish from the little pond, it's now time to properly concentrate on the big lake. I've had a good wander around and just got to grips with it a little bit, so my plan of attack is to fish the far bank. You can only have, there are only swims on this side, so um, I'm going to fish the far bank. I've seen some nice, sort of hard, clear spots um, that I'm going to target, and I'm going to fish one on a washing line style. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you're a monkey. Um, I'm going to fish one washing line style to try and keep all the line out of the water, and then I'm going to fish the other two down the far end, out the way, tucked away. <laughs> um, where the fish were showing this morning. So tactics wise, I'm going to go big inline drop offs, short hook links on that hard spot on the washing line, um, and then I'm going to fish some bottom baits on the other two rods, just straight bottom baits, straight out of the bag. Not something that many people do the other day, so it'll be all bright ones and, and Ronnies and stuff, which I do do, but um, over here I'm just going to fish bottom baits straight on the bottom and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm excited because I saw some big fish show this morning so um, yeah I'm gonna get uh, get tying up some rigs and uh, see if we can see one of these lovely Millhays carp. Hey Hux, you're doing me at the moment, you've had loads of fish. Right, all three rods are now out as you can see. I've got one rod by that tree on a washing line style rig. As you can see the bobbin's rammed up tight and that is because it is basically lasering out to a pole and there's no line in the water whatsoever. The other two, I've got one in open water here and one down here towards like a pipe. Um, so yeah that's how I'm going to approach this afternoon. Probably leave them there all night to be honest. Um, I don't know the lake yet other than seeing a few fish this morning, I'm in the right area. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens. She knows that I'm is two me, she knows that as well as. Right, guys, just had lunch. It's quite comfortable here. I've got West Ham going on my phone. Just had lunch. There's a hot tub behind me. Kids are currently in there playing. So I'm currently chilling on the veranda and I found some fish. I have just moved two of the rods onto that far bank. I've walked around there, dropped them in and walked the rods back. And uh, I'm hoping it's gonna bring a chance. We've obviously got that one washing lined out there. But these fish are in quite shallow water. Five foot, four foot, five foot. So um, yeah, I've underarmed them, plopped them in, a few handfuls of bait over the top. Let's see what happens. Right, good evening. Nothing's happened so far, unfortunately. I have seen fish today on the far bank, so I have had rods there, um, but nothing has occurred at all. So I'm just gonna do the rods just before dark now, and I've gotta fish them all along the margin, all along the far margin, that's where I've seen fish and I just think they're going to be there tomorrow morning, um, possibly at night tonight as well. So yeah, I'm going to redo the rods. It's evening time, we've had our dinner. Faye's doing some profiteroles ready for pudding and uh, I'm going to get the rods out. We've, uh, we've been playing in the hot tub all afternoon. Had a lovely time fishing this morning in, uh, in the little pond next door, catching all sorts. It's great fun and, uh, and the kids loved it as well. So maybe I loved it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get the rods out for the evening. Just going to fish balanced bottom baits over a bit of bait and um, we're going to see what happens. They were active this morning, so let's hope they get active again tomorrow morning, but this time they get their heads down. See what happens tonight. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Daddy's got a fish, hasn't he, Willow? Yeah. 
and the rods just rattled off. About an hour and a half ago, I caught my first one. So that's waiting for its photo to be taken. I was just waiting for the kids to get up. And uh, we've got another one on. I was starting to get a bit itchy feet last night because I had the rods in all day yesterday. I say all day, all afternoon. Because um, we spent loads of time fishing on that little lake. Yeah, I was getting itchy feet a little bit because I was seeing them and uh, nothing was happening, but hopefully. Now I've managed to spend a little bit of time walking around, getting to know it a bit. We're gonna catch a few, hopefully. And she comes. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. In you come. Yay! Number two. Well, good morning from the hot tub. I've got two fish waiting to be photographed. Two nice ones. And Huxley, what do we need to do today? What is our target today? A golden tench. A golden tench? Is that what we need to catch? So mine and Huxley's goal today is to catch a golden tench after we photographed some lovely carp from the big lake, which I caught about an hour ago. So I'm very happy. And Hux will be when he catches that golden tench. That is our target from the little pond today. In the meantime, I'm going to go and have a look at these fish. Look, that's it. Cheese. Yes, it. Come and stand next to Daddy. Cheese. cheese. Say cheese. cheese to the camera. Cheese. cheese. <laughs> This is our first fish of the trip, this one. 28 pounds, wasn't it, Willow? Do you want to touch its tail? Oh, not with the bucket, maybe with your hand. Do you want to touch it? Do you want to stroke it? No? <laughs> okay, lovely fish, this one, though. 28 and a half pounds. Lovely one, the sun's gone in, so it's gone a little bit dark, but... No, you had enough of stroking it. <laughs> yeah, lovely carp, that one. Right getting back. A beautiful, almost koi mirror that is. It's got a little bit of koi in it, I think. A little orangey belly on it. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful fish. Well chuffed. This place is awesome. guys I have spotted some fish in the shallows so I've quickly whipped a rig up there's some shallow water up there like two foot very silty so I made a quick helicopter rig as you can see here just in the picture apologize I'm holding the camera um, I've got the bead pulled up there because it is very choddy um, I've got a bright one very spring like tactics a bright yellow one and I'm literally gonna flick it and reel it back onto the fish and drop it into that silty area because it's clouding up like crazy <sighs> first smell of spring loads of sun and they are straight in the shallows so yeah that is the rig I'm using it's just a size six sharp wide gape on the end and a helicopter rig with a really light lead and uh, yeah that's going to plumb it in hook link's going to go up and settle nicely on top of the silt hopefully catch me a carp need them need single bank sticks right just going to grab the rod we are going to go and try and stalk one where I've seen him in these shallows over here. Have a nice scaly one, but it looks a 
Come here. Come on in, mate. Come on, you beauty. Come on. Into the net. Come on. Well, oh, you didn't like the net, but you're going to be in. Go on. Yes, looks like a nice one as well. That little stalking rod on the coloured water has produced another epic, epic carp. Look at that one. I tell you what, this place is, is something else. I absolutely love it here. The, uh, the average stamp is well over 20 pounds and that is a corker, isn't it? What an awesome looking fish. Fought like crazy in that shallow water, as you can imagine. <laughs> Yeah, we're having a lovely time here. We really are. Epic, epic fish. Look at that. Beautiful shape, isn't it? Stunning, stunning carp, that one. Yeah, loving every second of it. I can't wait to get the rods back out. We're gonna have some lunch first. But um, yeah, then I'm gonna put the rods back out. Epic. of a common. Beautiful, beautiful fish that one, isn't it? What do you reckon, Hux? Is that a nice one? It's a stunning day here, really beautiful spring-like day. And yeah, that's the, the biggest one of the trip so far. Absolute block of a common carp. And the guys are just eating their bacon sandwich in the background. <laughs> Let's have a look at the other side, because you're a bit of a carrot to this one. Very great fish, isn't it? Great, great looking carp. Mega character. Having a wonderful trip. We having a nice trip, guys. <laughs> Lovely carp. It is now lunchtime. Isn't it, Barley? That's a good one. Barley in his bed. There's Willow pottering about. There's Mummy cooking bacon. Mm. And Huxley, what are you playing? Jenga. Jenga. Am I going to be playing with you in a minute? Yeah. Who's going to win? Me. 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 No, me. 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 <laughs> I'll do a proper tour of it earlier, but it's an absolute mess at the moment. But yeah, <laughs> there's a lake there. All the rods are in at the moment because it's been utter carnage and I need something to eat. So, rods are in getting back out in a while, it's chill time. Had four carp, what a lake, unreal fish. I can't wait to get him back out to be honest. This is my presentation for the session so far and the presentation that's working. I've got a size four wide gate hook. That is a little blowback style presentation. I've whipped that on knotless knot to some supernatural. I've got a Northern Special dumbbell wafter on the end. I'm blobbing the knotless knot into the eye, and then I'm placing that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and then I'm placing that eye over a spinner swivel to then some tubing over the top. He's put me off, <laughs> put me off it. <laughs> and then I'm shrinking some tubing over the top. It just basically means I can chop and change that hook really, really quickly. Hello again, Huxley. <laughs> I've then got a boom section of about 
9 inches, 10 inches of IQ2 20 pounds fluorocarbon and that is just kicking away from that lead clip when I drop it into the lake. Oh look, the little weasel's back. <laughs> trying to do a serious rig talk here. Um, and that's it, 4 ounce lead, leader, and they seem to be loving it. The, uh, the wafter just sits up off the hook like that. It's also soaked in some of the red energy goo and the fish seem to be loving it. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go and get that out again. Hopefully I'll catch another one. Look at that clouding up. The sun has got up and the fish are sheeting up in the edge. I've got to go and get a rod on that. Although me and Huxley are going golden tent fishing first. I wish I hadn't even looked. Right, we've got to go golden tent fishing, then I'm getting a rod on that. Yeah? Oh, there you go, Hutch. Yeah, yeah, Hutch, you got one. Oh, don't spill that. Be careful now, it's nice and gently. Move well out the way. It's nice and gently. That's it, nice and gently. Nice and gently. Just gently bring it in. That's it, gently. All by yourself, Hutch, wow. Nice and gently. Bring it in. Oh, we got one! Yay! High five! It's a normal tent, this one. Normal tent, but still pretty one. Look. Is it pretty one, Willow? It looks yellow. Great fishing, Hux. It looks yellow. It's quite yellow. Huxley, put, quite, your, put your rod down. Look this. Well done, Huxley. And Willow, she netted. Yay! I got rod! Go on. <laughs> oh, we need the disgorger. Huxley, get the... the he swallowed the hook. Yep. Oh, watch it. No, just gorge you on the red thing. I'll what? tell you what, Hux, our net's in that other swim. Can you show him how to do this or not? What are net? James. I would, I would. It'd be a bit fiddly, I think. Is there Let him try. Hmm? Let him try. It? Yeah. yeah, do you want to hold it up for the camera? No? Well, I thought we were just going to put it straight back. We'll put this one straight back, shall we? Yeah. yeah. So we're trying to try again. She's getting quite clear. Close. Yeah, it's over there. See on the surface. Wait a minute. I'll bring it into a net, and then you scoop it up. Okay. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a fat one. It's a really fat one. Oh yeah, he needs to go in the net. Right, right net under him. Then. Net underneath him, and then pull it up. Yay! Well done, Huxley! Good boy, that's a big one! Okay, hold him there now then. Oh. Well done, Hux. Yeah, you got him, have you? We're in again. Absolutely kicking off. This will be my sixth bite of the day, this one. That's a nice fish, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did it. Oh, he's a nice carp, dude. Lovely carp. We've got to get him in. We've got to get that. Yeah, that, that'd be good, mate. Yeah. That's a pretty one, mate. Well, it has been a rather good day on the lake. Six fish. I've got to photograph two of them in a minute because I've not long had them. And this is how Huxley is feeling. Oh, where's your dancing gone? Is that because we're catching so many fish? Yeah. Yay! Right. Let's go and see these carp. Over right, if you can hear a racket in the background, the kids are having a bit of a party in the hot tub. <laughs> and I am catching amazing carp like this. Check that one out. What a carp that is. 
Ah, oh, this place is phenomenal, honestly. If you want a trip with a family, you've got to come here because look at those carp. If you can do fishing, family holidays, and catch carp like this. <laughs> I'm one happy man, as you can say, I'm pretty speechless and uh, I'm trying to concentrate, I can't really because of the music in the background, but what a carp that is. Hopefully there's gonna be more to come. I've got a couple of days left and we're having a lovely, lovely time in Devon. Check out the other side too. The other side's just as nice. And then she should be ready. Look at this side too. Look at that, hey? What a carp that is. Beautiful, beautiful carp they are in here. One very, very happy Jimmy boy. Right, you've been out long enough, fella. Let's go and put you back now. Yes, look at that. Very, very plump mirror, that one. Isn't it, Willow? You gonna come and look? Look. Come closer then. You can come and touch his lips. You gonna come and see it? <laughs> Another lovely mid-20 dumpy mirror carp. <sighs> Having a good trip, aren't we, Hux? Come and get behind me, get closer to Daddy. There you go, look, you'll see yourself there, look. Ah, do you like it? It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Lovely, lovely carp. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the other side. Lovely. Plump mirror carp. <laughs> I think that's the sixth of the session. So it is awesome here and it's all go with the kids. Got a barbecue on. Yeah, having a lovely, lovely time at Mill Hayes. Nice, hey Willow? Lovely. All right. Gonna get him back now. <sighs> Yeah, good pitch, go. Maybe that's yeah. Could be. Cheers to a good day's fishing. Well, good morning. It is bright and early as you can see. I look a bit of a state like I just got out of bed. That's just because I have. And uh, yeah, the mist is just rising off the surface. It's first light and I'm going to get the rods out. I didn't leave them out last night. We had fun in the hot tub, did family stuff, so um, I just reeled in, I left them in last night, put bait in, in readiness for this morning. The lake doesn't really do many night bites at all, so that suits me down to the ground. I uh, get a good night's kip, and then I can seriously fish this morning. So uh, yeah, rods are about to go out, back onto the same spots that I was catching them yesterday. Hopefully, we'll have a similar result. Maybe something even bigger. Right, I'm gonna get the rods out now. They're over there. Right guys, one thing that I had success doing yesterday was placing a rod right in the margins, in the shallows. So that's exactly what I'm going to do 
now. It's, uh, it's early morning, so the fish probably aren't there as yet. Although they could be, I guess. Um, they were clouding, sheeting, colouring it up like crazy yesterday. Yesterday, well, all day really. And I did catch one off it, sort of mid-morning time. So I'm going to get a rig in there now. It's exactly the same sort of day. Bright sunshine, going to be nice and warm. Oh, that looks. To see a few ripples coming out, actually. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to get a rig in position, hopefully, before the fish turn up. Like they did yesterday, and uh, you never know. I might be able to nick an earlier bite. Yeah, it's not quite as chocolatey as yesterday just yet, but I'm pretty sure that will change when that sun gets up. So, yeah, I'm going to flick this rod out nice and quietly. Handful of bait over the top. And uh, hopefully it'll be the same result as yesterday. Right, I'm going to get the rod out now. some silkweed, a little bit of rubbish but that's fine, pulled the bead up nice and high so that little pop up should be sitting on top nicely. yesterday just spread it around a little bit like I said they were clouding up that whole sort of area so getting just some smell sort of far and wide seemed to be the tactic I like baiting sort of quite a spread area you know there were a few carp in here yesterday it wasn't just one or two so yeah let's hope uh, the same thing today Little ducks look going on their little morning swim. Beautiful little ducks then. Black one and a white one. We're in. First fish of the morning. fish in the morning, in the slammer. Okay, so I've just had the first fish of the morning. I didn't fish last night. I gave them a good bait up, ready for this morning. It doesn't do many night bites. And within the first half an hour, I've managed to land this absolute cracker. They are perlers in this lake. And that is a prime example. Around 20 pounds, I would guess. I haven't weighed it, because it doesn't really matter. I'm having a lovely, lovely time here. And I need to catch a few this morning, because we are off to Dickerland shortly with the kids, which I'm excited about as well. <laughs> right, let's have a quick look at the other side. Lovely girl. Oh. Just give them a lick of water. Change the focus. There we go. Here's the other side. They are stunning, stunning fish here in Millhays. How about that, hey? What a cracking, cracking carp. I'm having a lovely time here. Just need one of them 30 pounders to round off the trip now. I'm sure it'll happen. Right, mate, time to go back. Well, second bite of the penultimate morning. 
coming thick and fast this morning. Come on, mate. Nice fish, that. That one. That old common. Come on, in, mate. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. Might be a 30 pounder, that one. Come on. Oh, bad netting. <laughs> Come on. Yes, get in. That's a good fish. In the net. That's a 30 pounder, I reckon. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Biggest one hunts he's ever seen. Cool. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stroke it? Yeah, cool one. Look at that. That's a fat one, guys, isn't it? You weighing it out? Even reel it in. How did I reel it in? Well, I just fight it, didn't I? That is a fat one, huh? It's got a big belly. I reckon yeah. that could be the third pounder that we want. Pink willow, big one. Big one. Right, so have a look how big it is, shall we? Mummy, can you zoom in on the scales? Can I lift them up? We'll lift it. Right, we'll do it. First. Have a look, guys. How big is it? How much would you guess? My guess is 30 pounds and 8 ounces. What's your guess? Mine's 32. 800? Oh, I wish it was. <laughs> Mummy's is 32. Ready? One, two, three, four. Oh. 30, just under 34, isn't it? Well, guys, we have done it. We have caught a 34 pounder, but well, just under 34 pounds. It was like 33, 15 ounces in a dram. Um, so not quite 34, but look at that for an absolute breeze block of a common carp. Yes, 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 what a place. Oh, I'm delighted with that one. Just under 34 pounds of absolute breeze block of a common carp. I knew I was going to catch one. There's a good head of 30s in it. I think it's like 1830s or something in it. So it was only a matter of time the way I've been catching them. So yeah, one very, very happy Jimmy. Oh, look at it, hey? What an absolute bruiser. Little pink northern special doing the business <sighs> right let's have a look at the other side shall we the sun's in and out so i apologize for the exposure but i'm sure you get the picture it's an absolute brute of a carp look at the other side too come here mate we'll get you back in a second oh look at it mega mega carp look at that hey Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go back in a second. Look at that. Absolute brute. Brute of a carp. And a very, very happy, happy family, happy daddy. Right, it's time for you to go back. It's time for us to go to bigger land. <laughs> Thank you, mate. So we are back from Diggerland. The kids are having a bit of a break because they are shattered. I'm pretty tired too, but I found some fish up in the bay again and I can't overlook that. So I'm gonna go and put a rod on a single stick up in that bay, just a handful of pellets, maggots over the top. See if I could winkle one out before dinner. Yeah, we had a lovely time at Diggerland. It's time to catch some more fish. So. I'm gonna get over there now. Right. Oh, I'm just gonna try and creep a rod in here as quietly as I can. I'm not gonna fish right where the carp were. 
guys, a couple just creeping in close, so I might just um, literally just flick one on the edge here. We're in. <laughs> Didn't take long. Got to tell you, I'm catching some special, special looking carp on this trip. Check this one out. Oh, beauty. Right out the edge in that little silty area that I showed you earlier. I just underarmed into the clouded water. Right up in that bait. little handful of bait over the top. And that is the result. Look at those beautiful pearly little scales along its back. Cracking, cracking cup. Honestly, I'm having such an amazing time here, an amazing afternoon because I've got two more carp to show you. The last hour it's gone absolutely potty since we've come home from Diggerland, and one of them is an absolute brute as well. So, yeah, another one of the A team is in the net, and I cannot wait to show you it. Right, I'm going to get this one back, but yeah, what a cracking carp that is, isn't it? All right, mate, let's go back. Yeah, the most ridiculous looking linear. Oh, how cool is that? One of the A team, 32 pounds on the nose of the most incredible looking linear. Tom mentioned this one to me and said that it was one that I had to catch and I've only got them done it. 32 pounds of the most majestic, awesome looking linear carp that I've caught for a while. What a carp that is. You can hear Willow and the guys eating their dinner in the background and uh, I am one very, very happy Jimmy. That is a special, special carp, isn't it? Honestly, there's some incredible, incredible looking fish in this place and that is one of them. That has made my trip the second 30 pounder I've got tonight to go in the morning. You never know, I might just get one more. But let's just have a quick look at the other side, because that is a special carp. That really is, honestly. What a carp that is, isn't it? <laughs> that has made my trip. I can hear Willow shouting at me in the background. So I'm gonna go and join them for dinner now. But I am one very, very happy angler. Right, mate. Thank you for making the most special, special of trips. <sighs> so each night before it gets dark, me and Huxley go and put some bait in, don't we Hux? Ready yeah. for the morning, because we're not fishing at night, are we? Daddy's not allowed to fish at night. Why? Oh, you are letting me fish at night. Yeah. To be honest, I'm choosing not to fish at night. It's far too cold, isn't it Hux? Yeah. And to be honest, it's been pretty slow at night and because we've been doing so well in the day, I've just been getting up nice and early, fresh as a daisy, eh, Hux? Yeah. Ready to catch fish in the morning. And the bailiffs and owners say that they don't really feed at night anyway here. So, um, yeah, it's nice to make the most of a bit of day fishing. And boy, have we been doing well, haven't we, Hux? Yeah. So we're gonna walk around the lake, aren't we? Yeah. Put some bait on the spots, ready for the morning. Hopefully, Catch some more big carp tomorrow. Mate, right, Daddy's gonna put some bait in. Just literally scattering it. 
all around there, really. Right, guys, there's the fish that Faye landed earlier. It's got dark so quick tonight, but it's um, yeah, it's not the biggest one uh, that we've had, and it's freezing cold, so we're just going to slip him back. But he's probably around 16, 17 pounds, something like that. But beautiful fish. Well done, Faye, for reeling it in. 50-50, that one. <laughs> Beautiful carp though, isn't it? They really are stunning, stunning fish in here. But um, yeah, I'm going to slip that one back. I know it sounds blasé and I would normally photograph it, but um, we've had such an amazing trip. We're, uh, yeah, we're photographing the big ones. But lovely fish all the same. No, no, mate. What are you getting on there, mate? What are you doing? Oh, they look nice, hucks. Look at them bad boys. Are they ready? Do you look a bit more? <laughs> oh, they look delicious. Are they looking good? They're good. Yeah? They're done. Happy? Yeah. Come on, then, try one. Don't burn your mouth. They're not hot. They're not hot? Oh. Tell me how they oh. are. They're gooey. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice, hucks like that. Try it. <laughs> 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 well, good morning, guys. Blimey, I look like a deer stalker or something, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> or just a stalker. <laughs> um, it's our last day and it's raining. Conditions are completely the opposite of what they have been. Just been bright blue skies. It is morning time and the rods have literally just gone out. So we've got today left. Can I make it a trio of 30 pounders? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That linear I had last night was on a different level. Honestly, the fish in here are just absolutely incredible. But yeah, a bit of a low pressure front moving in, I think. So, great conditions. Hopefully gonna catch another 30 pounder. That'll do, that'll really make the trip. But even if we don't, it has been pretty special. Anyway, I'm gonna go and have some breakfast. Rods are out, just behind me there. We'll see what today brings. Oh, we're in. We are in. Slowly. Now we picked up a big ball of it. Over his eyes, so I'll we'll scoop up the whole lot. You can just see him underneath it. There we go. Get in there, mate. Yes, first fish of the morning. Nice. <laughs> oh, I've just netted that fish, and the other one's gone straight away. This is absolute carnage. Really, really got those spots rocking now. Like super rocking. <laughs> I've gone down to two rods today because it's just two spots that seem to be doing bite after bite. Second fish of the morning. Get 
きてんねん Tom, the owner's just popped down and he's timed it well because that little flurry of activity has uh, resulted in three in three nets. <laughs> just been waiting for the rain to break to be able to photograph them. And uh, yeah, that is the first one of three bites. Beautiful fish. Tom will be better at weights. What do you reckon? Yeah, 24, 24, 24 25, something like that, which is probably slightly below average, isn't it? it is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the size has been awesome so far. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get this one back. Two more to come. <laughs> yeah, lovely fish. They've all been absolutely immaculate. Look at that. That'll do, won't it? We have had a red letter trip, and to be honest, I haven't punished it time-wise either. We've been making the most of little windows in the morning and doing some other activities in the daytime, sort of later on in the daytime, and uh, yeah. It's been a lovely family trip with loads and loads and loads of carp and good ones as well. Right, I'm going to get this one back and show you the next one. But it is a very special looking carp, that one. Look at him. That'll do, won't it? Real drop tail on it. Right character, that one. That is. A special, special looking carp. Look at the drop tail on it, real unique shape. That is one of the A team. He's chucking it down with rain. Tom's just going to uh, rescue the kids. But yeah, special, special looking fish that is. I'm very, very chuffed. Honestly, this trip could not get any better. Huge thanks to Jez and Tom for letting us down here. <laughs> I've got a feeling there could be a few more to come though. What a special, special looking fish that is. Let's have a look at the other side because that is an immense creature that is. Immense, immense carp there right here. Look at this one. There's the other side of it. Just look at that. Wowzers. Absolute wowzers. True red letter a spring session spring has well and truly sprung and it's chucking it down the rain so i'll get it back and uh, we might catch a couple more all right guys <laughs> Good afternoon. It's miserable today. <clears throat> Can't say we haven't been lucky though. The weather has been amazing since we've been here, but it is pouring down as we speak and the fish are absolutely having it. We've had five today. Got 
two waiting for their photographs. And it's just been absolute carnage. Need to get the rods back out now. I am waiting a few minutes. Hopefully this will uh, subside a little bit, this rain, because it is heavy now. But yeah, I can't ask for a lot more. Got about two or three hours fishing left before we're going to pack up, go down the pub for a meal, and then make our long trek back to Buckinghamshire. But um, yeah, what a lake, what a session. A true red letter spring session. Anyway, hopefully this rain's going to go away. I can feel it easing. We'll go and have a look at them fish. Well, how about that for absolute magic, eh? Hey? That is one stunning, stunning scaly carp, isn't it? Wow, what a session. I know I keep saying it, but this is truly a magical, magical spring few days. I think I've got another bite. I have, I've got another bite. Well, I'm going to put this back. What a carp anyway. See you later. I'm honestly losing, losing words for this session and the fish that I'm catching. Honestly, it is one after the other. I don't think I've, I've ever had a session quite like this. There's another one. <sighs> Absolutely unbelievable. I've lost count now, honestly. You don't get sessions like this very often. There is another absolute flipping corker of a carp. Look at the scales on that. Like little sovereigns of gold. Beautiful, beautiful carp, aren't they? <sighs> and I've just netted a, a really big common. There's a big common in the net. Just as I was photographing the other one, the other rod went, and honestly, I am losing count. <laughs> That's not a bad thing, though, is it? What a, what a session, honestly. I'm, uh, yeah, I can hardly speak. It is absolutely blooming crazy. <sighs> Thank you, fish. Let's get you back, mate. <laughs> Another 30 pounder. That's three 30 pounders on my trip. This one went 31 pound, eight ounces. God, blimey, look at that. Look at that. An absolute bar of gold. <laughs> three 30 pounders and a stack full of ridiculous looking mirrors. The commons are absolute brutes in here. And that is another one. 31 pounds, eight ounces. Unbelievable. I don't want to go home. I really don't. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's have a look at the other side. Oh, it's like a real sort of two-tony color, this side. Let's just change the focus. What a brute of a carp, man. Wow, wow. Look at that side. It's mega as well, isn't it? <sighs> lost for words. Truly, truly lost for words. Tell you what, though, I'll be saying to Tom and Jez, I'll be booking a return trip, that is for sure. <laughs> the family have already said they want to come back. So, uh, yeah, if they'll have us, we shall be back. Pronto, I'd say. Next week available? Yes. Ah, oh. oh, wow. Right, mate, let's get you back.